taco is so amazing that if you learn it, I'm not saying your significant other will propose to you. I'm just saying they might stalk you because it's so good. 600 feet, Sarah. What up guys, it's me, Chaz, AKA Deathcore Chef. And today I'm teaching you my recipe for miso steak tacos. So now we're gonna teach you guys how to pickle some red onions. First you're gonna need a red onion, like I got here. Beautiful. We want you to cut the bottom off. We want you to cut it in half. I want you to remove the outer layer, cut off the top. Now it's really important when cutting onions to make sure that your knife is really sharp. If you have a very dull knife when cutting onions, that's what makes you cry. Don't have a dull knife, guys. Dull knives are for losers who've given up on life, and that's not you, unless you've given up on life. Then in that case, seek help. It's not funny. <laughs> Anyways, top and tail the onion, and then we're gonna just fucking cut it into thin strips. Now this pickling solution could be used for anything. Two cups of rice wine vinegar, one cup of water, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of salt, whole black peppercorn. Just because we're using it for pickled red onions doesn't mean that this is just for pickled red onions. You could use this to pickle whatever you want. This is a pickling solution. Go ahead and add that to your jar. Now, cover this up and like I said, this is gonna need a minimum of two hours for it to set and for this to actually pickle, just a minimum. But if you're smart, like I am, you'll do it overnight. Now, this in the content creating world of culinary stuff is called a swap out. I'm not trying to pull the wool over your eyes, but me and Kiko here can't be sitting here for two hours waiting on onions to pickle. So we did it the night before, we're swapping it out with this one, because I can't afford Kiko's overtime. So unless you guys want Kiko to go back to sleeping in a dishwasher box in the alleyway of Detroit where it's dark and cold, you need to like, subscribe, and show your friends that I exist. I'm from California. I found Kiko as an orphan, and he was in a what? fight club, yep. That's what happened. And you know, Kiko was fighting an orphan because he was starving to death, and he tried to eat the orphan, and I said no. Kiko, there's a better way. And now he works for me. It's not much better, but he's working for me. I have my own apartment. Anyways, before I was rudely interrupted, not only did these pickled red onions taste amazing, but they also look amazing. And they honestly add so much color and depth to your final product. I would recommend them for any kind of garnish going forward in your culinary career. Okay. Now we got some fresh corn. We're gonna use this corn for our cheesy Korean corn. When I went to Korea at Osan Air Force Base, this was at every single food gathering that we had for dinner and stuff like that. So awesome flavor and it adds a little bit of sweetness to balance out that heat for the wasabi mayo that we have. To shuck it, all you gotta do is just pull off the husk of the corn. And then you got these little tiny hairs and we gotta get rid of those as well. Simply take off the husk. And then we get rid of all these tiny little hairs. Just simply wipe it down. You know, do what you gotta do. There's no cool way to do this. Just get rid of the hairs. Now once you guys are ready to boil your corn, you notice that the corn has these little handles on it. Do not get rid of them. It will pay off later. I'm gonna show you after we get done boiling. Now when boiling corn, it's really just water. You don't need salt, no butter, no pepper, nothing. Just simple water. Give it about five minutes and once it plumps up, your corn is done. 2,000 years later. So after about five to six minutes and your corn is all pleasantly plump, you're done. That's simple, how to make corn. I don't have a joke about pulling out, but do that. So a lot of you guys who've actually had my cooking have asked me to do a, a, a video on how I make my steaks. Well, it's not that hard. With this particular recipe, we're gonna use a leaner cut of meat. Now you could use a ribeye, but honestly with the marinade that's gonna go with it, it probably won't be your best bet. So for these tacos, we're actually gonna use a New York strip. We're gonna season it very generously, understanding that 30% is gonna be lost in the pan once we put it on the pan. If you do not hear that sizzle, your pan is too cold.
So we just got our steak off the heating source. Whatever heating source you're using, whether it be a grill, a, a stove, oven, whatever you're using, let your steak rest. Minimum five minutes, but based on the size of the steak is how long you actually want it to rest. So the reason why you want to do this is because when you apply any kind of protein to the heating source, whichever one you're using, like a muscle, that heating source will flex and tighten up, trapping all the juices within the meat that you're cooking. And if you cut into it when the meat relaxes, all of that juice is going to end up on your cutting board or whatever you did to cut it. And then eventually it starts to loosen up, relax, and all the juices will go back throughout the entire protein of whatever it is you're making. While we're waiting our steak to rest, we can make our wasabi mayo. We're gonna use about two tablespoons worth of QP mayo. QP mayo, not regular mayo. Yes, there's a difference. What's the difference between regular mayo and QP mayo? <laughs> Stupid question. This one has a star in it. But in all reality, this one uses more egg whites and stuff. So yeah, there's a difference. And then you wanna get some wasabi, some real wasabi, no artificial ingredients here. And we're gonna use about, about a fingernail's worth, unless you wanna clear your sinuses. This stuff, really powerful, a little goes a long way. And then we just mix this together. Now that we let it rest, it's a little bit softer, a lot more tender. And if you look underneath it, all of those juices that I was talking about came out and it redistributed throughout the entire steak. So now you have a juicy steak. We're wanting to go with long, thin strips. These are going into tacos. I like my steaks rare, medium rare. Now this end piece right here, this is the chef's piece. This is what we, this is what we eat in the back all day while you guys are eating regular food. Usually when we're making a steak and when the steak is the star of the show, we'll add thyme and garlic and herbs and stuff like that and baste it with butter. However, with tacos that we're making today, there's so many other components that go into it that we really only need salt and pepper. We're gonna put two tablespoons of miso paste in it, two tablespoons of sugar. Got two tablespoons of mirin, two tablespoons of soy sauce. Now I understand that a few of you lawbreakers out there and deviants and miscreants will hear my recipe and then just go off the rail and add extra to certain things. I like you, we'd be friends. However, hear my warning. Sesame seed oil is very potent and a little goes a very long way. Salt and pepper. Now we're gonna add our steak to it. And now we just mix it into this marinade. Now we're gonna cut our corn for our cheesy corn. Basically grab it by the handle and you wanna basically just cut it. Now, once you're done with these corn on the cobs, you don't have to throw these away. This stuff goes awesome for making like corn stock or something like that. And if you put this in with to make some grits, it's awesome. So we're gonna throw our corn into the bowl. We're gonna put in with our corn, half a cup of QP mayo. And then eight ounces of shredded mozzarella. I know what you're thinking, it's pre-shredded. But this is for the beginners. And plus this one was made to be melted. So, eight ounces of mozzarella cheese, and then we're gonna go in here, mix it all up, get all that cheesy goodness with our corn. We try to break up the corn as much as we can. And then, we're gonna transfer this directly in to a pan, lay this flat, and this is exactly why we wore gloves, because check this out. Instead of washing our hands and everything, boom, we're gonna take the glove off, and we're gonna throw a little bit more cheese on top of it. 
We're throwing this directly into a broiler. Basically, it's gonna be 500 degrees, it's gonna have the top layer on only, and it's gonna to melt and bubble all of this. While that's happening, we're gonna cook our tortillas, we're gonna get our plates ready, we're going to pretty much get ready to assemble, because once this comes out of the, the oven, we're gonna be good to go. So, come over here, got the broiler nice and hot. Do not walk away from this, because this will only take about two to three minutes for that to turn melted and brown. Tortillas, we're gonna heat them up. I don't really think I have to explain this one. Oh, well, I think you're good. Look at that. That literally took like two or three minutes. Don't walk away from this, it will burn. Now at this point guys, we're just assembling the tacos. First thing you're gonna wanna do, take a big scoop of that wasabi mayo that we made. We're gonna give you three pieces of steak. On top of that, I'm gonna get you some of this Korean cheese corn. And there you guys have it, miso steak tacos. You got the savoriness from the steak and miso marinade, the sweetness of the corn, the acidity from the pickled red onions, and a little bit of spice from the wasabi mayo. A complete umami that'll make anyone eating it say umami. But without further ado, let's try these bad boys. The, I'll take this one or that one. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, mommy, damn. <laughs> what do you think? Well, let's go one to 10. These are a solid eight and a half. These are fantastic. Okay. Definitely worth a try, guys. Go get you all of the ingredients. Give it a shot. You won't regret it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Culinary Chaos. Go show your friends this video, like, subscribe, follow us on all socials, show them these tacos, show them that you have some skill that seriously they need to recognize. Show them our merch and buy all of it and together we can cure my depression! And maybe give Kiko a raise so he doesn't have to go spend nights underneath the bridge anymore fighting dogs for his next meal. I have a job. Anyways, keep it chaotic guys, I'll see you on the next one.